we tend to think of engineering as the product of math and science and fluids, statics, dynamics, all of the things that we're taught in school. But if those were really the only things that we needed to be a good engineer, then we wouldn't have any of the technological innovations that we have today. That missing ingredient, that thing that separates a good engineer from just a problem-solving robot, is creativity. While I was in school learning just the fundamentals of why things work, I was also learning the hands-on practical application of how to apply these things in the real, real world. Working on building uh, puppets for the Broadway production of The Addams Family when I was 19. Learning to think outside the box which is really incredibly important in both puppetry and engineering. These days, I work in animatronics, which is a tiny, tiny niche of a field. It's the nexus of robotics and mechanical engineering, theater, art, robotics, puppetry, and anything that we can get our hands on to make things work. That term, animatronics, was first coined on April 22nd, 1964, when Walt Disney unveiled Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln at the New York World's Fair. That idea of making mechanical figures that, for an entertainment purpose, has been around since at least the 1500s, counting Leonardo da Vinci as one of the forefathers of the art form. And that principle of taking something that was originally created for a more utilitarian purpose and repurposing it into an uh, entertainment purpose and then building off of it and improving it is basically the cornerstone and foundation of how entertainment engineering and animatronics works today. So we went from those original clockwork automata through old hydraulics and pneumatics, working up through our current state of the art in, in electrics, and going into the future where we're pulling ideas in from aerospace and biomed and the Department of Defense, we're looking at soft robotics. There is this stigma, especially in my industry, with the word engineer. And it seems to be that people don't think that we're, crea we're capable of creative thought. So <laughs> what, I, what I tell people these days is that I'm an artist, but my medium is robotics. Allow yourself to be creative and remind everyone around you of that fact. So break out the Legos and the crayons and the 3D printer and go exercise your creativity, and then go out into the world and share those ideas with everyone. Thanks.